get ready with me slash I can't believe I'm putting this on the internet looking like this but whatever you know what it's okay so I got my bangs cut yesterday so I'm getting used to them for sure but um, yeah I wake up like this this is what I look like when I wake up and yes I do wake up with my makeup still on from the prior night because I'm not good at remembering to take my makeup off the night before. Call me disgusting, don't judge me, whatever. That is a goal of mine for 2018 is to remember to take my makeup off, but we're, it's baby steps, okay? We're gonna get there. Well, basically any weekend morning, I wake up, I open the blinds, I make my bed, and then I will make myself breakfast. Now, as of January 1st, I started the ketogenic diet. So basically what I've been eating every single morning is some bacon along with some keto pancakes and all the keto pancakes have in them are two eggs two ounces of sour not sour cream that would be disgusting two eggs two ounces of cream cheese one packet of stevia and a half teaspoon of cinnamon and oh my gosh they are amazing they are life-changing I don't feel deprived at all honestly there have been a few nights for dinner up making pancakes again even though I had the pancakes for breakfast but they're really good anyways this video is not about the keto diet. If you want to know how I'm doing with my keto diet, what I eat, um, and my progress that's happened within the past two weeks that I've been doing it, let me know. Um, I'd be more than happy to share with you because I get a lot of questions about it. Since it's a little strange, a lot of people get really freaked out when they hear high fat. Um, and they hear that I walk around with like basically a baggie of bacon with me all day long. So let me know if you have any questions. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. So anyways. Once I have my breakfast and everything, it's time to tame the beast, which is my face. <laughs> so basically, I'm gonna shower and just kind of make my hair look the way that the stylist made it look before I went to bed and played with my bangs too much and made them all oily and nasty. Um, but the thing that's gonna help me try to achieve that is this. This is the L'Oreal Ill Vibe um, color, what is it? Color Vibrancy Repair Mask. And I was sent this for free from Influencer. And I have used, this is not my first time using it. I've used this a few times. And I love it. Especially since I moved from Texas to Virginia a few months ago. This cold weather and dry weather has been terrible to my hair and my skin. So I was really thankful when I got sent this for free for testing purposes and I wasn't um, disappointed at all. Um, my hair, as you can kind of tell, even though it's disgusting, I'm sorry, um, kind of has like a reddish tint to it because I go back and forth between dyeing it a deep cherry red and a natural brown just because I can never make up my mind if I want to be fierce and fiery if I want to be plain and boring. Nothing wrong with brown hair by the way. Natural brunette. But anyways, so this 
is just amazing. Like it makes your hair really smooth and the thing that is most important to me when I'm buying a product for my hair or body product or perfume or basically anything, even makeup, it has to smell good. And if it doesn't smell good, I will refuse to buy it because I don't want to smell like a granny all day, you know? Ugh, and I wish they would make a candle out of this. This stuff smells so good. Ugh, I love it. Okay. <laughs> I just forgot what I was saying. So basically what you'll do is you'll go in the shower, you'll wash your hair like normal, you'll put some of this in your hair and you'll leave it on for about three to five minutes. I typically, the first thing I do when I get in the shower, I don't know what everybody else does, but it's what I do is I get in, I immediately wash my hair and I put conditioner in. And then I leave the conditioner in my hair for the entire time I'm in the shower. So then I'll go towards, I'll wash my face, I'll wash my body, I will shave if I need to, if I have to, and we'll go from there. And then at the very end, when I'm about to get out of the shower, I'll rinse all the conditioner out of my hair just because I want my hair to soak up as much uh, help as it can get. Um, because actually a year ago, I had like really, really long hair and I ended up cutting it to like here. Two days ago was actually the year anniversary when I chopped all my hair off. And then yesterday I went and got this drastic cut because <laughs> why not, it's my 20s. Another really important thing about this product is it says, this system protects and revives colored hair in one use. And typically when products say stuff like that, I'm like, oh yeah, because there's typically like a little asterisk next to it. It's like compared to other products and, or compared to like not using products at all. Um, but I was really happy with this product and I'm not just saying that because I got it for free. I am typically very brutally honest with products that I'm given to review just because I think it would be a disservice or I would not being, what? <laughs> I would not be helping anybody by giving them false information and I just not for that. So if anybody else colors their hair like me, and uses heat products because I blow dry my hair every single day. This mask is gonna make sure that your hair stays vibrant and doesn't get like dull. Like sometimes dyed hair does tend to get dull, but not this product. And your hair is gonna smell so good. Oh my gosh, this smell. Like seriously, I would buy this product even if I didn't like it, if I didn't like the way it made my hair look, which I do like how it makes my hair look. Um, I would probably just like, try to turn this into a candle somehow and like just have it sitting open and oh gosh, it smells like a salon. It's just amazing the way it smells. I can't even really describe it. It's, all I can think of is it just smells like a salon. If you know like what high-end salon products smell like when you walk into a high-end salon, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Minus the like chemical smell that you kind of sometimes smell in the salon. Minus the chemical smell, it smells really, really good. Is I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower and I'm gonna put this mask on and then I'm gonna show you guys what I do and how I style my hair after I use this mask. And I'll let you, and you can kind of see. Basically, I wanted this to be a really authentic review. So I wanted to show you the before when I have not done anything to my face. I haven't touched up my makeup, I haven't, I mean, I haven't even brushed my hair. I know that's hard to believe. I just have really straight hair. I mean, I brushed my hair before bed, but, um, so yeah, I wanted you to see how much of a difference it's going to make to my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and shower and then I will touch in with, touch, touch, what? <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, I'm clean, I'm fresh. I just noticed that when I got out of the shower that this will actually be the first time of me trying to attempt to style my bangs since I just got them yesterday and the stylist did it. So this should be interesting. So anyways, I'm just gonna take my hair down and tossle it about, see what happens. I Oh gosh, this is gonna be a nightmare. I don't know. I don't know where these go. <laughs> So I forgot to mention before I went in the shower that the product I use to wash my hair, to shampoo my hair with, is actually head and shoulders just because like I mentioned earlier, like the dryness and the cold of Virginia after coming from Texas has like destroyed my skin and my hair. <laughs> so I need all the help I can get. 
Plus, um, I got the the almond scented one or whatever it is, almond oil, and it smells pretty good. Well, right now, all I'm smelling is that amazing L Vive color mask. Oh, I mean, you can kind of even tell. Well, I can tell, I guess. Like, even when my hair is wet, it still looks vibrant, like kind of red, burgundy color, so. Um, the only other product I'm putting on my hair, just since I am gonna be blow drying it, is this Chi Keratin Mist, just to kind of protect my hair from the heat. So, I just kind of spray it all over. Gosh, I've never, another thing. <laughs> I've never used one of these before. And apparently you're supposed to use it to like, oh, whoa, that was like, that was like magic. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, so, well, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how this goes. I think what I'm gonna do is just film like a time lapse of me blow drying my hair because otherwise it'd be really boring to watch. So I'm gonna speed it up and if that doesn't work, then we'll s I'll just show you what it looks like when I've dried my hair. But I mean, I'm not using anything fancy. I'm just using this hair dryer that I've had forever. It's a Conair, <laughs> Infinity Pro Conair and it's, I got it because I thought it was cool that it could bend, but then I ended up not using it um, <laughs> for like five months because I couldn't figure out how to actually like open it. I thought I was gonna break it until my roommate in college, um, she was the one who finally showed me how to open it. So I thought I was gonna break it. Oh gosh, now it's really difficult. But this is probably like the coolest thing I've I just, I don't know, I think it's cool, so. All right, I'm gonna blow dry my hair, I'll be back and you can see the finished product. Just like that color and the shine, it's so soft. Like I really love, <laughs> and bonus, like I didn't screw my bangs up, which, you know, is a, pu a, pu a plus, ew, a plus when I've never attempted to style them before. So, I mean, oh gosh, what did I do? I really gotta get used to these. <laughs> So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face now so that I don't look um, so ridiculous. Oh gosh. Oh, where's my comb thing? Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh. It's in my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup now. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the finished product. I love it and I'm loving my bangs for now i'll probably hit them in a week but whatever yolo uh <laughs> no better time than your 20s to try a risky haircut am i right all right so anyways um i think the color looks really pretty my hair is really soft if there was a way to show you that through video i definitely would however you'll just have to take my word for it i mean you can see i'm running my fingers right through my hair and i'm not getting any knots or anything um and with my kind of hair, I guess I should have mentioned what type of hair I have. That probably would have been helpful. Um, so my hair is, uh, it's fine, but it's thick, if that makes any sense. Like the strands are fine. I just have a lot of it. <laughs> so the hair is pretty thick, but the strands are thin. Um, right now I would classify my hair as dry just because um, the, the weather. So um, that's why I was using head and shoulders to try <laughs> make sure I don't have any dandruff going on. Um, gosh, it's just so soft. And I think the color is beautiful too. Um, it's a very pretty like subtle deep red. But yeah, I definitely would recommend this product for women or men that color their hair or if even if you just have damaged hair, um, it doesn't really matter because when I actually first used this, my hair was brown. So <laughs> it's gonna make your hair look shiny no matter what color it is. Um, obviously it's safe for color treated hair because it's for color treated hair. Um, it, the smell is amazing and it lasts. Um, if I don't wash my hair until Let's say tomorrow night, 
um, cause right now it's in the afternoon on Sunday. If I don't wash my hair until late at night, Monday, my hair's still gonna smell great. Like this smell lasts. Oh, and if you just like go like this, you get like a nice whiff of it. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm weird. I like smelling good, so. As for my Sunday routine, so I basically already showed you. I wake up, I make my bed, I feed my cats, I make some breakfast, and then for the rest of the day on Sunday, I kind of got this idea from Kayla Nicholson, her gist, which is get your shit together. I kind of use Sundays as my gist days to where I'll go around and I'll clean. Um, my boyfriend's parents were recently just here, so I've got a lot to do to kind of get my apartment back to where I want it to be. So I'm probably going to be sweeping and mopping the floors, washing the sheets, washing the clothes, washing the bathroom, washing, cleaning the bathroom, <laughs> uh, wiping down the kitchen, making sure all the dishes are put away, and just kind of getting it back to normal. Because I feel like since it's um, the second week of January, I've just been going and going and going just because the holidays and spending so much time with family and I've had to be so social and I'm not typically a really like social person so I kind of need a break man I am exhausted that's so much social activity for a typically non-social person that is just like draining so I'm excited for the rest of today it's about uh, noon or one o'clock right now so I'm just gonna you guys don't need to see it. It's just gonna be me cleaning. Nothing special. But typically, um, once I'm done cleaning on a Sunday, I will just relax. Which I could be, that could be reading, binge watching Netflix, or it could be playing Skyrim for hours and hours and hours. Which actually I think I might do that today because I haven't played in a really long time since I've been so social lately. So I think I'm just gonna enjoy being a little anti-social today, having a little me time. I'm not going to film the rest of my day just because I don't really have a whole lot to do to show you to help you get your life together. All I'm really going to be doing is cleaning. If you guys want to see me clean my apartment, let me know and I'll make a video because that's, oh gosh, that'll be, I'm kind of like a hardcore cleaner and I think that's part of like my OCDs. I have to have everything clean and tidy and like, so let me know. <laughs> But anyways, I'm gonna go get my apartment back in order, relax, um, and just kind of enjoy my Sunday, so. One last thing, I did mention that I got this product for free for testing purposes through Influencer. So thank you L'Oreal, and thank you Influencer. I absolutely am in love with this product, so thank you, thank you, thank you. It's helped my dry hair recover, and I, gosh, I really needed that right now. But anyways, if any of you are interested in signing up for Influencer, where they can send you free products to test, I'm gonna leave a link down in my description box where you can actually follow it, sign up for Influencer, and have the opportunity to be sent free things. So maybe you could be next to get something for free to test out and try and share with the world because I think that's the point of Influencer is a lot of people are so afraid to try new products because you kind of get, I mean we're creatures of habit. We find one thing that we really really love and then we just kind of, that's it. Like that's all we use. So I think Influencer's agenda is to kind of, or purpose is to help companies get their product out there to get more people trying them to because I mean honestly the best kind of advertising is word of mouth so if you've got one person that's going like for me for example I love this product I've told my family about it I've been telling my friends about it every once in a while and I mean they're like oh that's cool maybe I should try it and that's in turn helping a company out but also helping your friends out because if it is a great product it deserves to be shared and um, just I don't know <laughs> it deserves the advertising that you get from word of mouth so uh, again that link that where you can sign up to get free things and I mean it ranges from all sorts of things I've gotten um, a few, vo they're called Vox boxes is what they send you. And it's got all the free products where you can test in the box. They'll send it to you completely for free. Um, and they're typically like full size products. If you can't tell, like this is not a sample size. This is, this is a straight up like full size container of product. And um, just so you can test it out. And it's amazing and I really loved it. There are things where they could send you food. They could send you hair products, makeup, uh, perfumes, 
and all kinds of things. Um, you just have to take some surveys so that you can find out what you like, what you don't like. That way they know what to send you. That's really gonna be up your alley so that you can give an honest and um, passionate <laughs> review about it. Yeah, if that's if you're interested in getting free stuff and all with all you have to do in return is just share your voice and use your voice to kind of share your opinion about it, then definitely sign up. It's completely free. It doesn't cost you a single thing. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you again, L'Oreal and Influencer, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.